about the math. It is called select equation from graph roots. So this is actually a multiple choice, but I'm not doing it as a multiple choice. I'm just doing like the answers. So we talked the day before we left. We talked about having the roots, and you write the equations for the roots. So you write each one, like x equals equal or x equals negative 5, and then you write them as factors. And then after you write them as factors, then that's your equation. So on this particular one, we have roots at 0, 2, and 4. So if you wrote that as x equals 0, x equals 2, and x equals 4, those are my roots. But what I want to do is I want to change them to factors so that I can get the equation. So if I were to write this as a, as a factor, and I'm going to write the equation, so I'd write that as x because it's already equal to 0. This one, I want to make it equal to 0. And so I want to move the 2 to the other side. So as a factor, it's going to be x minus 2. And then for x equals 4, I want this side to be equal to 0. So then this is going to be x minus 4. So that's also going to be a factor. So that would be, if that was one of your choices, that would be a, an equation choice that you would pick. The next one, which looks like this, this has a negative 4 and a 0. So if I wrote that out, I'd have x equals 0, x equals negative 4. So as a factor, I'm going to write them as factors. So as a factor, x equals 0 is just going to be x. And if we have x equals negative 4, we want this to equal 0. So I move the negative 4 over, so I get x plus 4. So it's going to be x plus 4. So that would be the equation that you would pick. And then you just basically look at the next one. This is a 7, so that's going to be x equals 7, or negative 7, sorry, x equals negative 7. This one is the root of 1, so we write x equals 1. This, it looks like, is a 5, so we write x equals 5. So if we wanted to write this and let this side equal 0, as a factor, it's going to be x plus 7. This one, if we wanted this to be a 0, it's going to be x minus 1. And if we want this one to be 0, it's going to be x minus 5. So as a factor, it's going to be x plus 7 times x minus 1 times x minus 5. So basically what's happening is, um, just like when we're, when, we're, um, when we're moving them, like we're trying to... Um, we're doing parabolas and we're trying to like figure out the translations like left, right, up, down. This is like the same thing. If it's a negative 7, this then becomes a plus 7. If it is a positive 1, this becomes a minus 1. <clears throat> very, very similar to that. So this would be the equation that you would pick. I mean, that is a 5. I don't know why this is lagging just a little bit. This would be equal to a 5. Then if we go to the next page, this would be our net 